so in this video we'll be focusing on uh, functions so that's going to be a title of this video today we'll be looking at functions so what are functions as much as you know in your math class what are functions so let me just get a clean page so in your math class what are your functions are some sort of things or operators i don't know what you call them where you can input something after inputting that you actually get an output a, a, a whatever looking at what that function does for instance if i have a function that um that can that you can put in your let me call it an h function on this h function i can put in your your year and then it splits out your what your age it splits up your age which is an integer right so same thing here we have functions and there are a lot of them some you can even create yourself as much as you can do with other languages like c and whatnot uh javas and whatnot so functions here do the same but yet yeah, we'll have the very same uh, function to discuss of which is going to be some function i think one of the first one that you learn if you're taking this some function you'll be taking in some numbers that you want to add let me say one two Three, you're trying to add one to three and then it should give you a number of which is going to be you see the answer here six i hope i'm correct i'm a very bad mathematician so you on this sum function you're taking in something with some argument taking in some argument and then the argument have to split, split out some output and this is what this is what we call your f of x in your math argument is the x and this one is going to be your y what comes out of the function so let's go to excel and see how what i just said now actually works okay i just talked about our uh, sum function okay first of all every function starts with an equal it's, it's equal function uh let me just say fact then an argument that's how it works here so if i want to do a sum one i'll have uh, equal sign sum and then my sum function is going to okay forgive me for that it's helping me i don't want help it's going to be let me say one uh i think two i mean let me do the one that i just did three and then yeah it's this one the answer you know it's six so what this function does okay let's click back look here that's what exactly this how this function works so it's equal sign after equal sign, it's a function, then argument, and list of things that I want to add. So obviously, you are aware that this is not how we will be doing Excel. This, this is not how Excel, is, Excel should work. So in Excel, you have references. So you want to reference. For instance, let me go back here. Right? Uh, let me say you want to sum that 6 that's six and two so you know the answer is eight right let me say on a sum that eight six and two you know where they are this one is on c c2 and c3 okay so you want to sum numbers on c2 and c3 that that's your goal right so you come here and say i want to sum i want to sum uh numbers uh okay I want to sum numbers from i want to sum c it was c2 if i remember very well and i also want to sum c3 it's eight as we predicted right so that's how it, it, it you put in an argument and then you get the output so how this one work i say equal sign i want to sum i want to sum c i think it was c i don't remember or oh, c2 and i want to sum with its with, with c3 also then you get the answer that's how some make make sure that every function starts with an equal sign and then if you have that i think also you are good but now you're like okay what if i want to what if i want to sum everything here let me say i want to calculate the number of orders that we have done so what is everything so in everything we have some sort of things i'll call like in math i'll call them domains right a range of things that you want to sum so you mean to say you want to sum from from c2 
until C11. Okay, you want to calculate the number of all these things here. So that's nice. We can actually do that. But you need to, uh, I need to uh, first teach you one more thing is that when I say sum or any function, I'm saying I want to put, uh, let me say C1 and I want to sum with C3. I'm actually sum this and this with and this, right? This will be like and this. But if I say sum this, C, let me say C1, I'm going to say C2 up to C7, I guess. Uh, how, how this, where this thing ends? What I want to sum, I think it ends on C, from C2 up to C11. Okay, cool. Let me say I want to end from C2 until I'm, uh, until C, what was it? I think C11, 11. But now, because I'm adding through some range or domain, if I could to put it like that in a more math language, then I'm using these two dots, dot, right? Your colons, because now I'm trying to say through or add on this domain or on this range. Depends how you want to look at it. But here you're saying add this and this. So I'm adding C, C2 through C11. So that's what we are going to, we are adding everything in there. Okay, let's go and try it out on Excel. If we okay, we already have a sum function, but now we're adding till C. We're adding till C eleven, right? Cool. But now we're not adding two things. We're adding through, through once this, right? Look how even Excel I've highlighted for you. Hope you can see. Okay. So it actually highlights for you. You are adding all that the answer is here remember this is end this is true these are not technical terms these are terms that I'm, I'm using for you to remember it more easier so that not all what you can do obviously you can get things like average you can do a lot of cool stuff so i think the very basic way of looking at it it's what we just talked about for average obviously it's going to be equal sign and then you okay you the, you type the word average obviously it will help you because normally it's give you a list of functions but when you, you want this first average here okay so i'll just click on it i want average i want this average you could type the whole word obviously uh, what did i do you can type the whole word i'm just showing you that uh, how much uh, excel is willing to help you so I'm trying to add, uh, get an average from C2 through C, um, I think it was C11, right? That's all that I want. Then this is my average. And then we can just go through these numbers. If you look through them, you can see the average is really around 21.8. So there are a lot of functions as if I can put an equal sign, you can actually see, I think, most of them. Let me say, you know, with that y. So there are a lot of functions, you know, that t. A lot of functions that you want to do. W. There are a lot of them. So all these functions they work with the very same basic uh, principle. Also, um, one of the most basic one of which I should have started with is that. Um, I don't know why the six here. I think, okay. One of the most basic one is that you can actually add basic cells. Okay, I can say B1. My B is so scary. I can say B1 plus B2 plus B3. Or for our case, I can say B1 plus, um, not B, I was working with C, C, C2 plus C3 plus C4. But now you have to start with an equal sign because there will be some lot of math involved in it, right? So if it's a formula, you have to start with an equal sign. Hope you don't forget that. Then we go back where we were. What I'm, I just said now, I just said actually you can just say equal sign. You can actually sum, not like using the sum function. You can actually say C2 uh, plus C3 plus um, uh, C4. Okay. And then you get the result. If you look, that's what exactly this function did for us. Right? 
it added all the C1. You can see the color correspond. Added that. It's added that. And then it's added that. Okay. So let's move on. So since I was able to talk about uh, adding of what we're doing right now, which is this one, you can obviously do C1 minus C2 minus plus C4. You can obviously do um, C1 multiplied by C2, depending on whatever method you're doing. You can obviously do things like um, C, C2 to the power uh, 2 if you want to square some cell. I don't know what you're working on. But literally every math that you can think of operation math operation that you can think of we can actually apply them some terms and condition obviously depending on what math that we are doing like vectors have their own way of working but actually we can do them here so one of the most important one that i forgot to mention i can actually get the minimum and the maximum obviously i can say mean it's also a function then open i want to mean okay please don't help me uh, I want a minimum from C2 uh, through C11, if I'm not mistaken. It was that much. So it's getting me the minimum. So if I can go back there, that's really a smallest number. So if you guess right, obviously, because I have mean function, I can obviously go and have max, right? So max, okay. Okay, max, let me say... um. I'm doing the same thing from C2 uh, through C11, C11, getting the max one, get the maximum value there. So that's how the really function works. So that if you actually forget how, what was our class about today, obviously this is our recap. Um, we have something called functions, I'll call them fun, let me call them fun, it's really fun. Fun, they put in some argument could be um, references they could be reference reference one ref two and also functions have an argument could be reference a but through until you go to reference uh, um, let me say reference 11 and also there are basic functions like sum max mean um standard deviation i forgot to talk about but same process also let me just mention that here okay let me remove everything that i've done here um let me mention that actually here when i'm using a sum function uh, sum function i can actually go here and actually drag on and on things that I want to add. See, okay. You know what my problem was? Very, I did the very same mistake that I've been telling you guys not to do it. Every function start with what? Yes, an equal sign. I'm sure you look at me in that. What this guy is doing? Just told us something is not doing it. So it's going to be called sign sum. Okay, uh, sum. I click sum. Then I'm saying sum from here to here. Of which is like the easiest way of doing it so yes the same answer also for mean i can just say mean do mean for me equal sign oh, okay going to be mean i'm trying to find the minimum right you can write the whole thing and then you drag where you want the mean for okay and then literally we're getting the same answers so you can also get a standard deviation right I'll use that deviation for the whole population. Okay. It's going to be equal sign standard uh, deviation. It's uh, ST, ST dev for the whole population. This one, I want some deviation from here to you here. Cool. Oh, before I forget, there is another function that I think is very important. This just reminded me. There is a round function. I don't know if I remember very well how it works. I'm just looking at that very big number. Obviously, it should be a function that the function that rounds should be round, and then you put in an input. In let me call it an input, comma, um, number of commas that you want, like 
decimal places so this is how it works so let's see if i'm i remember it very well i'm saying there's a function called round function called round here every time uh okay around i'm rounding um, this number they use dot or commas i don't remember what they use here yeah? and then i want it in two decimal places okay did i do any mistake so if you go there what mistake i did uh for separating arguments you need a semicolon right so here let me go here this is how it is so it's a, it's a round function let me say 2.345 whatever then a semicolon and a number of comma uh, i mean decimal place that you really want so it's going to be round here and then you round this is how rounding works so it actually can be a number you can actually put a cell here i can say round c4 but i was just giving you an easy example to remember so i can actually test it for you here that on the round function i can actually add this i can actually this this is this number and if you can tell me the reference if you score it right you can write in the comment section what is it is it c5 c15 that means you know how to reference now it's going to be c15 right i'm trying to round off that number into two decimal places. oh it works right then what if I want to make it into three decimal place? Okay. Three decimal place. Okay. What if I want to make it too very long? Let's experiment. What if I want to make it to six decimal place? Oh, okay. What did I do? Okay. So literally, I, I don't know how I ended, but two still fine. Still works. So that's how it works. Thank you. Please don't forget to share and subscribe.